Hey everybody, I'm Bernard Vinyals and I'm going to talk about one thing that I'm kind of no noticing uh, when watching tutorials like this, like spline tools, tutorials, um, another type of blueprint slash script that allows you to do spline work on an Unreal Engine 5 or 4. And that is that all of them uh, use a manual variable for typing in how long is the is the mesh how what's the length uh, and I think that that's an incorrect way to do it because you can get that number pretty easily uh, and that is via bounding boxes so let's let's check it out how are we going to do that i already have my spline script it's a script that i made myself and i added a couple things that other people don't do on on their own splines so i'm going to show show it to, to you all so uh, you can learn that you can do this and maybe in your next tool that you're going to make uh, you're going to apply this as we can see, I have a couple switches and various sets. This is part of, of what I'm going to explain. Uh, a mesh, let's say this mesh, which I'm using for testing. Um, every mesh in Unreal has a bounding box. And that bounding box is usually pretty good, especially for this type of meshes, which is pretty rectangular. This bounding box is pretty good at knowing what are the borders of the mesh? We can see that there are two bounding boxes. There, are, there is this radius one, this sphere one, and there is this bounding box. Now, the bounding box is what we are interested for this tutorial. We are going to take the data that this bounding box has and use that uh, in order to automatically know how long it is a mesh. Now you're going to say, well, but maybe the user doesn't know which uh, axis uh, this mesh is, is, the, is it's forward. No? Usually you should, you should use the X axis, but you maybe are a novice, you maybe are an indie developer, you don't have time, or you don't know about this type of things, uh, this, this type of things of 3D modeling, you're only a programmer. Uh, and whatever you want to do is you want it to do in whatever angle it is okay so the way we're going to do that is uh, on the script we're going to have a variable which is mesh length with which this is a variable that others users use uh, other tutorials will tell you to use too but in their tutorials they are telling you to put it manually we're going to make it so it is automatic at least uh, it should be automatic if we're not using the scalable mode why is that well um with the scalable mode what we want to achieve is to scale every single uh model that we're going to put in every single static mesh uh to whichever uh, length we want so in case of scalable we want to use this length but in, in case that it's not scalable we don't care about the length as long as it is the original one before i do uh, how do we get the original length? Pretty easy. We're going to have our mesh here, reference. Uh, and it is as easy as get bounding box. This uh, pure function returns you a minimum um, vector and a maximum vector. The maximum vector it is it's what we need. We're going to set that to the mesh length with the information of a new variable that we're going to create which is the forward axis this way we are going to know if we want the maximum length of the y of the x or of the uh, c and with that it is pretty easy we're going to use a switch for those who don't know uh, a switch can be used for enums which is this type uh, this type it is a is plane mesh axis and this type is useful because on our function where we set the axis for this plane 
you can basically add in this variable and it is going to be applied every time that you are going to put the mesh uh, you don't need to make another switch for every single one you already have the variable you put it in and that's about it so check it out if it is scalable we are going to multiply it by the uh, length that we are going to apply and that's it that's really it it is a simple feature that you can add uh, on your spline tool and honestly i don't know why this this is uh, amount of youtubers and and people uh, real gurus that there is on the internet don't use this i mean it is pretty easy and in this case we can see that the mesh length is already set automatically but if i want it i can hit scalable sorry my pc is pretty <laughs> pretty bad uh, we can hit the scalable make the the length bigger and this is going to make the length bigger exactly wha what it, what is meant to do so the functionality is still there for being scalable but if we want it to be the original size for every single mesh that we put in we turn that off and it is now the original size going to put the this test uh, mesh so you can see that it is basically the same size now uh, there are no lights here <laughs> um, and it's pretty easy and then you can use the, the spline as whatever you wish basically how you use a spline pressing alt and then creating new points simple simple things what uh, what do you expect while using a spline basically and well that was it uh, I hope this was useful. This whole tutorial. I think there is this is a thing that every spline tool should have, but every single tutorial that I see doesn't have this this feature. So if you want an explanation with images, you can head out, head to my art station. You can head to my art station. Uh, the link will be in the description. And my last post, the modular and auto size spline mesh. Uh, I basically explain the filters about this type of spline. Here's an example with a road, a Megascan road. Uh, and here's um, an e the image of basically what we just did. So you can head there, follow me on our starting, follow me on my Instagram at bernardo.exe. I'm probably going to add uh, more posts like this. I Usually when I'm working with a new tool that I'm developing, uh, I usually post it there. So if you want to be updated about what I'm doing, you can head there. And if you want to see other tools, like for example, random actor spawning on constructing a script uh, and other things, comment down below. And we'll see. I'm probably going to make that tool and show it to you. Uh, with that, I leave you. Bye.